Hey everyone, this is Luis Palacios of Red Vivid Racing. I'm one of their UTV specialists. I've been in the industry for around eight years now, racing short course and desert racing, and just be a normal enthusiast like yourself where I can get to ride and enjoy the trails. Tires are absolutely recommended. A lot of guys uh, like to run the factory tires that uh, Polaris and k and used to use. A lot of guys like that tire, you just lower the PSI, it's an all-terrain tire, would run great. Then again, you get into higher horsepower vehicles that we're seeing nowadays, and the tires simply can't keep up. Depending on which setup you have, we can help you get either buffs, as they call it, the front smooth, combined with a 10 or 12 paddle on the rear, or a lot of guys with much higher horsepower applications. We can get you ribs on the front or a staggered setup for fronts on a molded tire with a molded rear tire as well. One thing to consider is weight of the tire. Obviously, you know, you're in the sand, you're in higher RPMs. You want to make sure that you're carrying the lightest tire and wheel combination as possible. Higher RPMs lead to higher belt temperatures for the CVT cars. Higher belt temperatures, a lot of times if you're past 200 degrees, can lead to a pretty bad time. You have to change the belt and you don't want that to happen halfway across the hill. One of the first things to consider when buying sand paddles is your horsepower rating. See where your horsepower is at and also your style of driving. They offer different multiple kinds of paddles, whether you're looking at a nine paddle on the rear or a 16. Those are all things that we need to look into so we can get you the proper setup. The enthusiasts that are running, let's say on a Razor, uh, Turbo S or Pro XP or a can MX3 that put you between 172 to 195 horsepower, you're going to want to be between 10 to 12 paddles. That seems to be the most popular setup for those cars and customers usually ask for the front buffs. Of course, if you're more of a demanding driver, you want more out of your car and want a better overall experience, we can look into something different like a rib front or a staggered front tire. What I would like to uh, help you with is finding you the perfect set. Let's talk about your vehicle. Let's talk about your style of driving. How many people you drive with, the kind of driving you like to do. You like to cruise around the dunes, or you like to drag race with your friends. And what horsepower levels are you running? All those are factors we would need to discuss uh, so you, we can get you the best setup and you can have some fun. With a straight paddle setup, which is a most popular setup that we offer, you're looking at the best overall experience. Cars rated from 170 to 195, even 200 horsepower, they seem to be the all-in-one package. There's not a lot of science that goes to it, it's just for that enthusiast that likes to go to the dunes five to seven times a year, guaranteed to perform well. For straight paddles, the most popular brands are Sandcraft, Tusk, EFX tire makes a great tire. STI makes a great tire as well. Those seem to be the most popular options. A hybrid paddle is a molded tire that the thread is paddle-like, if you will. They're made to perform in sand, not really made for hard terrain, most efficiently in the sand, of course, in the snow. A best example for this is the SS360 that System 3 has. SS stands for snow and sand. People running a vehicle like the Honda Talon, like the KRX 1000 from Kawasaki or a Razor XP 1000, love those tires because you get a lot of grip and you're not really putting your vehicle in the high RPMs. Staggered paddle, what you're getting on the rears is that instead of getting a complete straight paddle, you're getting them as, if you will, one on top of each other. Heard different, you know, feedback from customers. A lot of guys swear by them. A lot of different guys cannot tell a difference. Uh, I've heard from customers that they uh, like the cornering of them a little bit better. I'm thinking that for that setup, you need a higher horsepower application vehicle. For the dunes, weight is definitely something that you want to put into consideration, especially also depends on your vehicle. Uh, a lot of guys, for example, with a Razor XP 1000, weight is going to be a very, very important factor, especially when considering going to the most popular setup, which is a 32. On something like the System 3 SS 360, which is a great tire, we're looking at an approximate weight on a 32 of between 28 pounds for the front and 32 pounds for the rear. In some cases, that might be a little bit too much. Uh, for an XP 1000, I would recommend something from Sandcraft, something like their Demon, where we're going to be looking at a significantly less weight because the buff tire takes care of a lot of that weight because it was shaven off. The lightest tire is going to be a staggered buff. A lot of guys go for that tire for that same reason, for the weight. Next to that, you're going to get a hybrid or a molded tire like the SS360 that we previously mentioned. It's going to be a tire a little bit heavier, but the complete tire has 
cups and staggered fins that help you not only get more bite but also with cornering most popular setup is something like a full buff a lot of guys like that like previously mentioned transitions really well helps float through the whoops really smoothly doesn't bite that much so it won't give you too much feedback to the steering wheel a lot of guys are a little bit more demanding and even at the dunes where it's wide open they like to find those sharp corners a lot of guys will like going with something as a ribbed or a staggered front tire similar example would be like the talon with the front mohawks from sandcraft or for the guy that doesn't really put way too much into consideration, we'll go with a fully molded paddle, a hybrid, where you get more fins and full cups out of a front tire, which help a lot with cornering. After you've chosen tires, now it's time to look for wheels. What I would recommend is running a beadlock. Beadlock not only helps the bead of the tire stay in place, but it also allows you to run a lower PSI, which at the dunes equals more grip. The manufacturers I would recommend are Douglas. They're probably one of the lightest wheels in the market. Another manufacturer is Method Race Wheels. They have a really nice setup. As uh, so a perfect example would be their wheels with the bead grip technology, where you're getting a beadlock wheel in essence, but the actual lock, if you will, are grooves that are engraved on the inside of the bead that allow you to run the lower PSI and not risk popping up tire off its bead. Best part about it, you're getting the function of a bead lock. You're not sacrificing the weight that you get from the hardware and the additional bead lock ring. Another wheel I would consider is something from Raceline. Uh, they offer their own line of wheels as well. Among Sandcraft, they make their own billet aluminum wheels as well. We can offer packages straight from the manufacturer, something from Sandcraft, or we can fully custom make you one. Whether it's with a Sandcraft tire or a System 3 tire with a Method Race wheel, whatever brand you prefer for either wheels and tires, we can gladly help you get the best setup that you want. Don't over inflate your tires. Don't put too much PSI. Uh, you won't like the way it rides. It won't be smooth. And with these uh, tires that are shaven off, you could even see a tire pop. Something to always do, inspect your PSI when you're unloading. Make sure you're at the preferred PSI that you want. Also make sure on something like a buff tire that you don't have any kind of leaks, any kind of tears on the sidewalls, because that could lead to a flat. Always inspect your tires when you're out there. Another don't is when you're pulling into, uh, into your garage or into your staging area, make sure to be driving really careful if your paddles, especially buffs, if they're installed on the vehicle. You wanna drive really carefully because these tires, they're a two-ply tire that are very delicate because they've been shaven off. So you wanna make sure you don't get a flat and you can have some fun at the dunes. The most important do when it comes to sand paddles, once they're installed, you torqued all your lug nuts where they should be, go out there and have some fun, enjoy them. Thank you very much for your time, guys. We really appreciate it. See you soon.